God has called us to fear him. And if we fear him as men and take him seriously, you'll always know it by how you walk. That's what faith is. And he gives a blessing when you have the right walk. I asked my dad when I was 18 years old, how in the world did you make it from your point A to your point B? If you know Tony Evans' story, he was from the inner city of Baltimore, Maryland, where the word statistic derives its meaning. I mean, he's from the wire, raised by high school dropouts. He ate herring every night for dinner. For all of you fishermen, you know what herring is. It's the fish that's got millions of bones that you got to pick through just to get to the meat. His dad was a longshoreman. They didn't have any money. So he would fish at the, at the, at the job, and then he would come back and bring home all of this fish. So if you ever see Tony Evans and you want to take him out for lunch, don't offer him no fish because he ain't going to eat it. I said, Dad, how did you get from them streets to where you're the first in our family's history to graduate from high school, to graduate from college, the first African-American to graduate from Dallas Theological Seminary with a PhD? You started a church with 10 people in a house that now is over 10,000, a radio broadcast in your garage that now is in over 1,400 countries and over 140 uh, uh, countries and over 1,400 stations around the world. How in the world did you become the chaplain of the Dallas Cowboys in the Tom Landry days? How in the world did you become the chaplain of the Mavericks at their conception as an organization? How in the world did you get from that block and those circumstances over to where God has you right now? He said, you really want to know, son? I said, yeah, I'm 18 and I'm asking you questions. Aren't you impressed? Answer. He said, go read Hebrews chapter 11 and tell me what you see. I said, what is this, a spiritual Easter egg hunt? Just tell me how you made it from your point A to your point B. He said, no, that's not how I work. Go read Hebrews chapter 11 and tell me what you see. And I went to Hebrews chapter 11, and it says, faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. By faith, Abel offered a better sacrifice than Cain. Verse 4. Verse, verse 5 says, by faith, Enoch was caught up. Verse 7 says, by faith, Noah built an ark. Verse 8 says, by faith, Abraham obeyed, even though he had no idea where he was going. Verse 22 says, by faith, Isaac blessed Jacob. Verse 24 says, by faith, Moses refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Verse 31 says, by faith, Rahab hid the spies. I closed the book and I looked back to my dad and I said, dad, I guess I know how you did it. He said, how did I do it, boy? He said, he did it by faith. He said, bingo, boy, that's how you walk. If you want God to take you to the next level, he wants to see you walk. Well, how do I walk? You walk by faith. You may not be able to see it. You may not be able to understand it. You may not be able to know it. But you do it simply because God said it. I said, Dad, what is faith? How do I walk this out? And I'm going to give you a Tony Evansism simply because he's not here. He said, faith is acting like it is so, even when it's not so, so that it might be so, simply because God said so.